Hi, my name is Mitchell and welcome to this tutorial on how to do electrical design in Revit. I'm going to be showing you how to add in socket outlets, lighting fixtures, light switches, a panel board to then create circuits and wires. I will also show you how to create a panel board schedule. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my new electrical project. So I'm going to go to new and under template file, I'm going to look for electrical template. It might not be there in the drop down, so I'm going to go to browse and select electrical default. Open and OK. So now I've set up my electrical project, I'm going to be linking in my architect model. So I'm going to go to insert and link Revit. From here, I'm going to source my architect model and I'm going to make sure the positioning is auto origin to origin. I'm going to press open and now we've linked in our architect model. So just to stop us accidentally moving this around like so, I'm going to pin the architect model down. So to do that, I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go over to this pin icon here and you'll notice you get this, this little pin. That's exactly what you're looking for. You don't want it to be like that, otherwise that means it's unpinned. So I'm going to keep it like that. So now I'm just going to just move these elevation datums out of the way, just to keep the project looking nice and tidy. There we go. So now I've got all that sorted, I'm going to go over to my elevations. And you can do this by going to the project browser, um, scrolling down under elevation and double clicking that or what you can do is go over to the elevation datum and just double click that and then that will open up the view as well so now we've got our elevation a elevation view open we can now start adjusting our levels to match the architect's levels so i'm going to bring mine down from 4000 down to 3500 because this is the architect's level here and you'll know because you can't individually select the level you can do with the electrical level so I'm going to go to modify and align I'm going to select the architect level first and then the electrical level second so you'll notice that went from 4000 to 3500 and so you want these two numbers to match so that's good now I'm going to just monitor these levels just in case the architect moves his. I want to be notified of a coordination alert. So I'm going to go to I'm going to go to collaborate, copy monitor and select link. I'm going to select the link. I'm going to go over to monitor and I'm going to select the electrical level first and then the architect level second. And you'll notice you get this little heartbeat sign and that is exactly what you're looking for. Um, if it doesn't come up with that, you might not have done it right and just go through the process again. So now I've monitored the levels, I can now start adding in some sockets. So to do that, I'm going to go back into the project browser under electrical power floor plans. I'm going to open up my level zero floor plan and the first thing that we're going to notice is we haven't got any tags on the rooms um, so we're just going to add in some spaces um, before we put in the sockets so if we go to analyze and space uh, you'll notice that you might get this you might not but you'll notice that this space isn't going all the way to the perimeter of the room um, to get this to work properly we're going to select the link edit the type and tick room bounding select ok so now when you put in a space it goes to the perimeter of the room so you can either do this manually like so or you can press play spaces automatically and nine spaces created automatically and, and we can now see them here so now we've got our spaces in we've got it in a space one space two etc we want these to match the architect's rooms so just because a room isn't in our project doesn't mean we can't find out what it's called 
So if we select the space, and you'll know you've selected it when it comes up with spaces in here in the properties, we're going to scroll down and you'll see under identity data, the room name and number. So to get the space name and number to match these, we can either type it in garage four, or you can go over to your analyze ribbon and space naming names and numbers and select OK. That will change all the space tags to the, um, uh, to the correct room name and number. So now we can start adding in our sockets. I'm going to go over to systems, electrical device, uh, a device and electrical fixture. You'll notice def uh, by default Revit gives us twin switch socket outlet, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, in the properties, just a quick thing, you can change your elevation if you want to, um, down to a thousand. If you're watching this video and you don't work in these units and you're wondering how to get to your desired units, you can type in UN on the keyboard and you can change from millimeters or whatever it is to whatever you like. But I like millimeters, so I'm just going to keep it as that. So back to the electrical socket. So now I'm just going to be working in these two rooms here, workshop five and workshop six for this video. I'm going to go ahead and just put them in the rooms. Like that. So now we've got our sockets in we can now add in our panel board. So again, under systems, I'm going to go to electrical equipment and in the properties, we've got a few different defaults we could choose from. I'm going to go for the 125 amp panel board. I'm going to select it. And again, you can change your elevation if you like, but I'm not, and I'm just going to put it on this wall here. So now we've got a panel board in this actually allows us to create our circuits now. If you didn't have the panel board in and you're trying to create circuits, it just won't let you. So now we've got that, we can start adding in some power to our sockets. So I'm going to select the socket. I'm going to select power. And then this panel board drop down. I'm going to select the panel board. So now this is circuited to the socket. And you'll know it's circuited and there's a circuit created when you select the panel board and go over to electrical circuits, not electrical circuits, sorry, modify electrical equipment and create a new panel schedule. We can create a default, a default. If you work for a firm, you'll probably have a template already set up, but I'm just going to use the default and you'll notice that that, that socket here that circuited to this panel board is now showing in here. So that's one socket, 0.8 amps, a 20 amp PD rating. So now that's only one socket. I want to add these other sockets to the circuit. I'm going to select the socket that I've already got on the circuit. I'm going to go to electrical circuits and edit the circuit. Add to circuit. And then I can just select the sockets to add them onto the circuit and finish editing. You'll know that they're all on the socket when you go back over to your panel schedule and that 0.8 amp is just times by 6, 4.7 amp. So that's all of the sockets on there. Right, so I'm going to go back over to the power and now I'm going to add in my wires, my circuit wiring. So if you hover over a socket and select your tab on the keyboard, you'll get this. And I'm just going to select the socket again to keep that there. And you're going to have two options for a uh, for your wiring. You've got an arc option and you've got a chamfered option. I'm going to go for the arc option. Personal preference. And you'll notice you get this little arrow as well. This um, this is to point to the source of supply. So 
So I'm going to point that over to the panel board. So now we've got our sockets in, we can start adding in our lights. I'm going to do this in a separate view um, because that's just a, it's just good practice to do that. So I'm going to go over to electrical lighting, ceiling plan level zero. I'm going to open that up. And you'll notice that the spaces are already in there, but the space tags aren't. So I'm just going to add all these space tags again. I'm going to go to annotate and tag all. I'm going to scroll down to space tags, select that, apply and OK. And now we've got all the space tags back in this view. So now we can add in our lights. <clears throat> We're going to go to systems. We're going to go to lighting fixture. And again, Revit gives us some defaults. I'm going to go for the 600 by 600 recessed. I'm going to now look at adding them into the room. But you'll notice that I get this little circular cross. That's because we've got it placed on vertical face. I don't want to place it on a vertical face. I want to place it on the ceiling. So we want to select place on face and start adding in our lights. I'm going to use the alignment tool to make things nice and tidy. And then just start adding in your lights like so. There we go. So we've got our lights added, in, added into our workshop 5 and workshop 6. Now I'm going to need a light switch. So under systems again, I'm going to go to device and lighting. And look at the defaults we've got. We've got loads of different kinds of switches. I'm going to go for a one way switch. And I'm going to put it on the side where the door opens. Yeah, so now we can start looking at our circuits and our switching circuits. So I'm going to be adding these onto the onto the panel board. So I'm going to select it. It's the same principle as doing the socket. So you select the fitting, you go over to power and there we go, we've got this one. So now if you hover over it and select tab, you'll see it's powered. So I'm going to edit the circuit and add the other light fittings. So I'm going to add them all onto the same circuit and then finish. I'm going to hover over and select tab. And now we've got the, the wiring, the circuit wiring. Select my arc and just check the arrow. There we go. So now we've done our circuits, you can uh, just make sure that it's it's came up on your panel board. And you'll notice we've got dwelling workshop six. So we could actually change that to five dash six um, because it is for the two rooms. And we've got circuit of 2.2 amps so that's good so now i want to look at doing the switching circuit so we're going to select the light fitting again and select switch select switch again and tag it there we go so now we can edit the switch system and we can add the other lights that we want switching from this switch so i'm going to add just workshop six because I only want workshop six to be controlled by this switch here. So I'm going to finish that. And then I'm going to go over to this room. I'm going to select this light fitting, select switch, select switch. And then select switch again. And now we can edit the switch system and start adding in the other light fittings. And then finish editing. There we go. So now we've added in our sockets and distribution board and our lighting fixtures, lighting switches, circuits and switch circuits. Um, that is all for today. So thank you for watching. Please like the video as it helps me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this.